black ice on a chilly morning sends a truck careening into the Blue River. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. A slippery morning on roads in Breckenridge led to several minor car accidents, including a truck that pitched off a bridge on Broken Lance Drive and landed upside down in the Blue River. Red, white, and blue fire reports no one was injured in that truck crash, although it spilled about 30 gallons of diesel fuel. Fire crews put containment devices in the river near the scene of the accident and downstream, tried to collect as much fuel as possible. Today is Veterans Day, and this morning, Silverthorne honored our military with a flag-raising ceremony at Town Hall, attended by town council members and two veterans with Silverthorne PD. Kim Jardim with the town. The commitment and the sacrifices that these individuals make are uh, tremendous, and those cannot be forgotten. The two policemen, Detective Rich Watson, retired Air Force, and Sergeant Brian Siebel of the Army Reserve, are two of an estimated 1,170 veterans who live in Summit County, about 4% of the local population. Council member Derek Seller reminded the gathering that veterans might not demand recognition for their service, but they deserve it today and every day. Weekend traffic at the Eisenhower Tunnel was just shy of 119,000 vehicles this past weekend, Friday through Sunday, nearly 12,500 more cars than last weekend. Daily averages keep outpacing previous highs by double digits. Traffic rate this weekend was 39,582 cars per day, 9,000 more than November last year, a 31% increase. Ski season is ramping up, and ski lessons are now available at all five local ski areas. So what's new for instructors this winter? It's called the Connection Model, highlighting technical, teaching, and people skills. Scott Engfeng with Professional Ski Instructors of America. Whether you work at Copper, Vail, Brack, Keystone, the, the consistency amongst uh, the education, which is the foundation that we're pushing towards, that'll stay the same. Aang Feng and instructors from across the nation were in A Basin recently, getting familiar with that new curriculum and remembering what it's like to be a student. Get out of the mindset of it's a lesson, it's a school type thing, and, and you go into, well, I never thought I'd be able to do that, or I've always wanted to do that run that way, but I didn't know how, and there's, there's more and more of that happening. Vail Resorts offers free beginner lessons to most employees, perfect for veteran skiers or riders who want to try a new sport. After nearly three years with no executive director, Loveland Ski Club has a new head honcho. Joe Minock, a former speed skater turned ski racer, joins the club this season running business operations, and program director Scott Graham finally has time to get back on the snow. Excited to bring him in this role. It allows me to have a renewed focus on the athletic side of the program and what's happening on the hill. Loveland Ski Club is training all month at Loveland Valley, along with youth clubs and college ski teams. Today in roadwork news, Dillon Dam Road is closed this week, beginning tomorrow, for rockfall mitigation on the Frisco side. It reopens Friday or Saturday. In sports, all Colorado teams are off today, back tomorrow with the Avalanche and Nuggets. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, tomorrow is opening race of the A Basin Rise and Shine Rando Series with uphill-downhill racing on high noon. Get signed up at ArapahoBasin.com. Racers lead the start at 7 a.m. And the Summit Girls rugby team has done it again, claiming a remarkable 12th straight state title over the weekend, beating Monarch in the final 40 to nothing. The team transitions to 15's play this coming weekend in Glendale. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.